So my name is Heather Donahue and I am 45 years old. I live in Memphis, Tennessee. Um, I have, was diagnosed with stage four metastatic breast cancer almost three years ago in July of 2015. Um, I was diagnosed initially with stage four um, right from the beginning. So this video is part of our Living Beyond Breast Cancer um, Hear My Voice series where we're doing a video to show you our life both in treatment and out of treatment. So today I am at work, which you can see. Our, you can see our helicopter and me. I'm in uniform. Um, I am a flight nurse and paramedic. Um, I have been Luckily enough that in the last three years I've been able to continue working um, throughout my treatments, even though I've had to take a little bit of time off. I've had surgery, I had a hysterectomy, I had to take six weeks off. Um, had a couple of the times I had pneumonia, I had colitis, there were some things that I had to take a few weeks off, but for the most part I've been able to continue working um, with very few modifications, which we work 24 hour shifts, so I spend a great deal of my time at this station right here. Um, there have been a few, few little modifications that I've had to make. Uh, I do not have really any of my hair from the chemo that I'm undergoing right now, um, so I either wear this hat or we have these little scrub hats um, that they had made up for me that I can wear underneath my helmet, just my helmet, so that it does not rub against my head. Um, other than that, there have been very few modifications I've had to make. I did have to change my boots at one point, go to a size bigger. Um, one of the chemo medicines that I was on earlier this year, which is an oral medicine, caused my feet to swell and crack really badly, so I had to go up a size in that. Uh, but there, for the most part, I've just been able to continue working the way that I normally do. Um, the people I work with have been incredibly supportive. They have done a few things, like they made pink trauma scissors, uh, trauma shears that we use to cut things at work and to remove people's clothes if they've been in a wreck. They made those in support of breast cancer. They made um, t-shirts that uh, they sold and contributed the money to me to use for my medical care. Uh, and everybody just has been very supportive and encouraging so that I can continue to work because a lot of people who are undergoing treatment chemo treatments are not able to work, um, especially if you have stage four breast cancer because it really makes you very sick. The chemo makes you very sick. Like I said, I work 24 hour shifts, so I only work two days a week, so I have the advantage there. Um, I do chemo one day a week and work two days a week, and then that leaves me four days that I can rest. So um, that's just a little small portion of my life and uh, a way that I'm able to continue living my life and our theme this year is beyond the breast and so that means not only is our cancer move beyond our breast but our lives are also beyond the breast cancer there are many other things that we do and this is one small segment of things that I do in my life outside of the treatments so I just want to let you all see that thank you <laughs> 